the puppies are at least the size that is needed to allow them between the bigger dogs. They're still small, but they have really grown. Just look at little Arthur here. <laughs> And yes, it's still not possible to tell which ones are exactly which. You have to check them very well. Uh, they are really looking so much alike. All the dogs running together. Arnie over there. Yes, don't worry. This is not the small little cage. This is just where he likes to look at me. <laughs> from <laughs> these dogs are great just look at this it's amazing and they all get along yes they do bully that little jack a little bit but he has really started to stand up for himself look at that he is probably going to be the toughest one of the lot and they are playing constantly they don't stop playing <laughs> Look at this one. And they actually got me the other day right on the finger. Just look at that. Let's see if you can see that. Got me right in the thumb there. Tracy's a little bigger than they are. And Diego. Diego. The, one of the friendliest tigers I've seen. But he's got a little bit of a temperament when it comes to the food. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. He is a very strange tiger. I think one thing about tigers, the main thing you have to keep in mind is probably their personalities. A tiger is just the outside shell. But the part inside of them, that is what really matters. And they can really be recognized by what they do more than what they are. Let's just take a walk through here. No cats around here. This is usually the first place where vegetarian cat hangs out. Let's see where they are. And there is little Bucky. <laughs> Just look at him. And there is Spider Cat. <laughs> Let's see where's Computer Cat. Should be around here. Nope. Chicken over there for. The mother cat, friendliest cat in the world, that's what I call her. She's eating. She's waiting for this little one to come in through the door. No. <laughs> and it's just rained a little here by us. So. Sun is not out at the moment. There's a dove just right there Diego is walking he's just afraid that a dove might eat that bone so he's just gonna go check up on that <laughs> plane coming over we've got a lot of aeroplanes coming over this area so A little bit of noise always coming from it, not that much. And Diego is eating that bone. Carrying it around. See how long it takes. I'll speak a little bit softer, more towards closer to the phone. Don't want to irritate him while he's eating, and he can get quite irritated.
Enzo just taking a walk around. Today I only fed them each three quite large chickens. But I think they had a little bit too much over the last week to eat. And I think tomorrow I'm only going to give them each two chickens because they do get a little uncomfortable and he is doing his thing I'm gonna give him some privacy let's rather concentrate on Diego so they've been eating quite a lot over the last week and I just think that you shouldn't overfeed them they should always keep a good shape once they start going out of shape it's difficult to make that turn around and get them back into perfect shape again I do like to keep them a little bit fatter than they should be to be perfect I just think it's better that way it also makes them a little heavier so they are not able to climb not that they want to climb but just for that extra peace of mind Enzo just walking around he likes to exercise after he's eaten Diego don't <laughs> again on the personalities they have got totally different personalities there is no way that you can just know everything about a tiger by just studying one or two tigers it's going to have to be something that you've done for a long time in order to see the resemblance between the personalities because they are totally different although I have to say that Diego and Ozzy had a very very similar personality but Enzo totally different I've also noticed with the cats just a normal cat they are totally different there's no such thing as two cats that is exactly the same. It just doesn't happen. I think you can compare them a lot to humans. Just like humans don't have the same personalities, these tigers are like that. And maybe you can form that personality, but I've seen a lot of animals have a personality even before they open their eyes when they're born they are already molded I'd say 90% of what they are gonna be that other 10% is what you can add I don't think you can just take any animal as a blank canvas and start to sculpt them into what you would like to have. I think they already have their personalities and you can add to it and you can guide them a little but you're not going to just change how they are with giving them a couple of lessons in life so something to think about what do those puppies dream about when they've never seen anything in their lives before what do those kittens dream about when they've never seen anything before their eyes only opens much later but go and check them when they're sleeping and they've never seen anything you're going to notice that they are having full-on dreams 
right there without knowing anything again on the puppies I remember them barking when they were just lying there they were so small and they were barking like big dogs in the neighborhood when you listen at night and you hear that dog just there in the far reaches of the neighborhood barking like no other dog has ever barked before that was the kind of barking I heard from those puppies as they were just lying there waiting for their eyes to go open one day so yeah something to think about please comment on that what do you think thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that have a good day